from shoreline we're gonna try to catch some spotted bay bass i got a nice lure that i want to show you guys and try to catch a fish with shout out to combat baits for hooking it up and i hope i can uh show you how to actually fish this lure are uh, you ready to go jason <laughs> yeah let's get it let's go fishing from the shoreline what do you notice here our first thing we notice there's a ton of little holes in the sand and those are from the sand shrimp sand shrimp is that what they call i think so <laughs> all right sand shrimp and then we're right up against this eelgrass line. Uh, so there's most likely going to be spotties in this area. Other other fish feeding on those sand shrimps. So imitating that is like a prime thing to do. And I have the special bait. Oh yeah. I have this ghost shrimp pattern combat bait. Three inch on a Ned rig. So let's see if we can catch a spotted bay bass. What kind of lures are you going to be using today? I have the, uh, the Rodney Classic here. <laughs> curly tail. Here's the ghost shrimp pattern from combat baits. And it's pretty cool. The Ned rig forces the the jig head to fall first on the sand and what that's gonna do is gonna make that claw come up as if it's an actual ghost shrimp defending itself so how i'm gonna work it is pretty simple cast as far as you can where you think the spotted bay bass are you're going to just do a nice little twitches of your rod and that's going to pop up that claws of that ghost shrimp if, as you can see in the water right here. You can even drag this bait and that's actually mimicking a ghost shrimp going to a different hole. Five minutes later. Got a good one. It's probably a good spotty. Ooh, it's a nice spotty. <laughs> Super ultra light on this ghost shrimp pattern. It's probably a legal spotty right here. Let's get him out. There you go. Nice spotty right on that edge of that eelgrass pattern. Just bouncing this ghost shrimp invitation, Ned rig. And look at this. Beautiful guy. Look at that. Dude, that's sick. Woo! So beautiful, legal, it's probably 14 inches, legal spotted bay bass, nice predator type fish, just lurking the shoreline here at extra, extra low tide. It's gonna go ahead and let this guy go. See you, buddy. <laughs> that was awesome. And if you can see here, this ground right here is filled with ghost shrimp. Hey, Jason, ghost shrimp. Dude. That's what it is, ghost shrimp right there. Oh. That's what, <laughs> that was the bait I was mimicking today and there's a ghost shrimp right there. Let's go on that one. Yeah. Are you able to get it, Jay? Let's go on this one a little bit. Yeah, you know that big F one we saw? Oh, jeez. Dude, this match the hatch, guys. This is exactly what we were mi mimicking. Look at him, he's trying to get me. <laughs> Dude, his arm is huge. Oh. Holy moly. <laughs> Like the same color too and everything. Um, Man, you just like went up in the water and you freaking just grabbed the ghost shrimp. That's awesome. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. <laughs> that's cool. That's awesome. That's a nice spotty. There you go. Whenever I like talk about the drop shot to anyone, I like reference you. I'm like, you know, like the Rodney special. Are you serious? Yeah, dude. That's so funny. Oh god. <laughs> this is the worst tape measure that I lost my life. 13. 13. So that was cool. You caught that spotted bay bass that was 13 inches, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it felt good finally to get a nice spotty on here. Uh, I'm using a three inch Callens grub. Oh nice. Uh, I went down from like the four or five inch a lot of people use because the small bait when it's slow and the tide's really low, the small bait kind of scurrying along the bottom is what really mimics small bait fish or you know, the sand or ghost shrimp that Rodney's using. Oh, true. That's a huge fish. You're using a heavy duty rod too. Yeah, but it's a light line. Oh, oh that, you're here for the fight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Is it okay if I film, by the way? Yeah, pound test do you have again? 12 pounds. Oh, jeez, 12 pounds. Yeah, that's pretty light for... Yeah. 
like a 30 or 20 pound fish, whatever it is. That's so cool. It's a good fight. He's, he walked from all the way over there to right here. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Another mile of walking. Not far. <laughs> he sees you. He got on to me. Oh, he knew I was leading him. Look at the wake right there from him. Oh, yeah. Doing right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that wake. He saw shoreline and he's like, I'm out of here. I guess it's like an 18 pound ray. 18 pound ray? Nice. Sometimes if you ever want to get one to move, that will go right through into his mouth. Play oh, there. really? Playing banjo on your line? And they get stuck, you start doing that. If you want to get it and they give it a little slack, oh, and it'll wow. get it you know, I feel like I need to go fishing offshore with you because you're like the legend, I feel like. God. The legend was Roy Rose. I'm watching this guy in amazement and I'm learning a few tips. Right, Jay? He's crazy. I love it. <laughs> little flash there. There he is. Saying hi. Dude, that's a nice fish. Jason. Dude, that's a huge fish. Holy moly. Now, you're stuck here, dude. You're stuck. You're stuck. Butterfly. Holy moly. Uh, I'm gonna help like uh oh he's like in the way. Yeah, that's why I never wanted to come off. Do you want me to oh. unhook him or anything? Oh man, he's like sucking himself into the sand. Yeah, he's making a hole. Look at that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Alright buddy. Wow! Beautiful. Alright. Find yourself a way out of here, buddy. <laughs> tail, watch out for the tail. Yeah, the tail's it's got a stinger on there, right? I think so. Come get a shot of that, dude. That's so awesome. Oh, nice work. That's that was awesome. awesome, man. That was sick. So that was pretty gnarly that we saw a guy, a, a pretty OG fisherman. Oh, yeah. He accidentally snagged the fish. There's no way of him purposely snagging uh, that kind of species. No. Yeah. There's no way, but he played that fish to the T. He yeah. was only using 12 pound test, and that, yeah. that fish was what? How uh, 20, 25 pounds, but it's a ray, so they can, you saw it pausing a lot, they actually lay down and suction to the bottom, so it's yeah. really hard to get up and turn them. Yeah. And also that guy, that, that fish was definitely going for his lure because yeah, you know, true. there's no way he just like randomly snagged it. It was probably going yeah, over it no and then way. the hook came up and caught the wing. There's no way. All right, so uh, thanks Jason from Fish Mastery. Check out his YouTube channel. Yeah. Him and his wife, Amanda, make the YouTube channel. So check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. Say if we get more than uh, 200 likes on this video, then I'll make another video just like this with Fish Mastery. Woo! Any uh, last words of wisdom? That's it guys. Just get out there, try new lures, slow it down, especially when the water's cold and uh, like his channel, <laughs> like mine, and we'll see you soon. All right, see you guys. That will go right through into his mouth. Play oh, really? Playing banjo on your line? <laughs> <laughs>